Hi, my name is Montserrat Garibay, and I'm the Secretary Treasurer with the Texas AFL-CIO. And I'm Rick Levy, and I'm the President of the Texas AFL-CIO, and we're here today to talk about primary elections. So, Rick, can you please explain to us what is a primary election? A primary election is where each team, the Democrats and the Republicans, are going to select who they think is the best candidate to run on their ticket in November. So that's what happens during the primary. Got it. So when is the primary election here in Texas? It's starting right now. In fact, it started uh, two days ago on February 18th and runs early voting runs through February 28th. And then the actual election day is March 3rd. So people have a lot of opportunities to cast their vote, but they got to do it. That's right. So does the candidate with the most votes in the primary election get to run in November? Not necessarily. They have to get a majority of the votes. So if there's more than two candidates running and nobody gets more than 50 percent, then we'll have a runoff election, which will be May 2nd, um, uh, between the top two candidates. Uh, Got it. So why is the primary election so early, almost eight months before the election date? Yeah, each state sets their own primary election dates. We're part of what's known as Super Tuesday, where there'll be a bunch of states around the country that are voting on that day. But as you've seen, uh, some votes, some states vote earlier, some states vote late, vote later. It just depends on where their legislature decides they want to have the election. Super. So can you please tell me if where, how does a person know if they're eligible to vote? So you, in some states, you have to state whether you're a Republican or a Democrat and then vote in that primary. In Texas, we have open primaries, so you can vote in whatever election uh, primary you want to. All you have to do is be an elect, uh, eligible voter. So if you're a registered voter, you're eligible to vote in the primary and you can make your voice heard. That's right. Our voice is our vote. That's it. And so it's really important for union members and their families to make sure you vote in these primary elections. Why? Because when it comes to November, you want to make sure you have the best candidates that most closely reflect your values um, and that can win in November. So um, it's like being a manager. You get to be part of putting the best team out on the field. And that's what our vote is at this time. So we're really encouraging, you know, our goal is to flip the house. You remember from last time, we have to take back the house. And, and that's why you notice that the fly swatter is in the shape of a house. Uh -huh. And we can also flip the house. But it all starts by voting in these primary elections, making sure labor's voice is heard. Su voz es su voto.